Hey YouTube, Herbal Prepper here, and today I'm showing you a picture of activated charcoal. Now, you are actually right now in my bathroom, and there is a reason for that. I wanted to explain to you guys one of the main reasons I use activated charcoal, and I use it as a toothpaste. Now, it's very light and fluffy, as you can see. Um, and so, basically, what I do is I will take... where are you going? is I will take some and um, stick it on the palm of my hand, just a tiny, tiny amount, and stick it on the palm of my hand and then dip my toothbrush into um, the palm of my hand, a wet toothbrush, and then go to brushing my teeth. Now, it will turn your mouth black for the time that it is in your mouth. You can either swallow it or spit it out. Um, I recommend actually swallowing it, and the reason why, because it is great for removing toxins. It's great for poison ivy, uh, so you can use it topically on bug bites or uh, rash where you want to pull something away from the body. Um, like I said, you can take it internally for a lot of different things, but it helps um, the body remove things like um, uh, parasites, uh, toxins, chemicals, um, if you have even taken, it's great for, uh, like if you take too much of something and you want to try to remove some of it or, uh, like a lot of times hospitals will use it for food poisoning. Um, it's been known to remove toxins from the bodies that are caused by big pharmaceutical companies medicines. Um, so, and it will also affect your absorption of vitamins and minerals. So keep that in mind when you are taking it. Basically what I'm telling you is do not take it right before you eat or within a certain time frame. Um, I like to take it at night or I like to take it in the morning when I'm not going to eat for a couple hours because you want to give it a chance to work through the body removing toxins without removing vital uh, nutrition okay so um, and then it will safely carry gas and toxins throughout the digestional tract and then out the body so uh, if you do take larger amounts it will turn your uh, bile and your uh, fecal matter black so keep that in mind it's not anything to be worried about but you know it will do that and so basically what activated charcoal is is it's you know regular charcoal that they um, turn into activated charcoal by the process of using gas and what that does is it creates a lot of pores on the surface area now what those what that does is as soon as you create a lot of pores like that you turn around and then take it and then all those pores start absorbing things and a lot of times if you're really toxic it will absorb all those toxins and again will absorb uh, minerals but as long as you don't take it uh, before you've eaten or after a certain period of time, then you don't have anything to worry about. You're only removing the bad stuff. Um, it's great for children to brush their teeth uh, because they are known to swallow whatever is in their mouth. And so, like I said, swallowing this loose like this or putting it in capsule form and swallowing it, it's perfectly fine. It's really up to personal preference. Um, if you have poison ivy on your hand or leg or something, the reason why poison ivy spreads so quickly is because the moment the plant touches you, um, you're basically bruising the plant, even if it's very faint, and now the oils from the plant are transferred onto your body. And so now the oils, you scratch and it starts to spread. It irritates the skin and then you scratch and it spreads. And so you're spreading the oil. So if you want to remove that, you use activated charcoal and like a poultice. Or you can just sprinkle it on the, bo uh, the area and kind of rub it in and let it just start absorbing and pulling all the uh, poison oaks, volatile oils, off your body. And then you can do basically the same thing with baking soda, but this is ooh, this is uh, much more porous and will actually remove a lot. You can make a solution of baking soda and activated charcoal, but there's a lot of things that you can do with it, and so then you would just rinse it off, and um, and then you can apply, you know, uh, plantain and yarrow to the skin that will actually help uh, soothe the skin. So with that being said, guys, uh, there are so much use for activated charcoal and you know it's fairly cheap you guys um, 
you, you should definitely have it for cases where you might have had food poisoning, which food poisoning and is probably going to go skyrocketing whenever people start getting hungry and they start getting desperate and they just start eating any and everything. But um, it's great for uh, all kinds of things like inflammation and uh, helping remove toxins from the body, which make the body function better. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you've used activated charcoal any other way than topically or internally, let me know. I'm always looking for new ideas. Um, but it's such a wide variety of things that it can be used for. Um, I definitely, definitely believe it should be in your medicine cabinet as well as in your, a little bit in your bug out bag. So anyways, you guys have a blessed day. Until next time.